Hello all, uh, this is Shashwata from Department of Material Science and Metallurgical Engineering at IIT Hyderabad and I will be teaching this course on thermodynamics of materials. As you know the etymology suggests that thermo is heat and dynamics is power and thermodynamics the science that uh, deals with heat and work and their relation with uh, the physical properties of, um, uh, of matter and materials uh, obviously as you can see that materials is matter and materials are composed of atoms and all. But we look at this thermodynamic description of materials which is more of a macroscopic description of the materials because we want this knowledge to understand materials behavior. So, we want to understand and rationalize materials behavior based on this fundamental thermodynamic principles. Thermodynamic principles not only helps you to understand the materials behavior or materials phenomena. Uh, and, um, and and uh, to identify fundamental properties, it also helps you in uh, and uh, provides you a rational basis to organize information about materials characteristics or materials properties. So, these are basically called thermodynamic databases and this thermodynamic databases you can use to design materials to improve processing conditions to improve materials properties. Thermodynamics uh, of materials or thermodynamics is a comprehensive subject that is it covers all classes of material systems be it metals, alloys, ceramics, polymers, composites, solutions, crystals with defects such as semiconductors, gas mixture everywhere. So, all of them come under the purview of thermodynamics and it is capable, capable of handling different influences and effects for example, in, means influences or effects such as thermal effects mechanical effects, chemical effects, electrical, magnetic, interfacial. So, all of these basically can be studied. So, you have different classes of material systems and you have different types of effects that you can study and finally, what you end up is basically you generate you uh, using thermodynamic principles you generate maps of equilibrium states for different material systems as a function of these effects or influences. So, as once you have these maps you can use these maps to design materials and to uh, to design processes and to correlate processes uh, or processing variables with uh, materials properties. So, this is how thermodynamics becomes an integral part and study of thermodynamics is essential. So, if you tell that uh, I do not require thermodynamics and I want to uh, design a material a new material for a certain application, it is almost like equivalent to searching for needle in a haystack because you do not really have the, the, the a logical basis to basis to sh search for the material. So, in such cases thermodynamics helps you in identifying classes of materials that will be suitable for the desired application. So, it also provides uh, answers to very fundamental questions of uh, uh, behavior of matter. For example, at what temperature does water freeze? At what temperature does a solution of water and salt freeze? Okay, or say some alloy whether it will melt at uh, uh, certain temperature or not, whether an alloy containing uh, some combination of elements will oxidize um, in air at, uh, at, a, at a given temperature. So, or is it possible to form alloys or how do I make an alloy oxidation resistant and stuff. Right? It is not only related to alloys, but it is as I told you ceramics also come into play. For example, if I use this type of ceramics as a refractory material, will this withstand very high temperatures without cracking or without giving uh, giving up. So, all these things are possible uh, to means you can answer um, uh, by knowing thermodynamic principles. So, the learning objectives of this course are basically we will I uh, will teach you the how to describe a uh, system based on thermodynamic principles and then we will discuss the principles of phase equilibria for example, the thermal equilibrium, mechanical equilibrium and chemical equilibrium. Then I will give the criteria for phase stability and we will look at thermodynamic driving forces. For example, if I know equilibrium for example, thermal equilibrium that means, where the temperatures um, across uh, temperatures are uniform across the system throughout the system. Now, if there is a temperature difference that gives rise to a driving force like thermal driving force for heat transfer. So, we will understand these driving forces. Then we will also look at the behavior of the bulk that is where surfaces are not important or we are excluding the surfaces. Also, we will look at the behavior of thermodynamic behavior of surfaces. And finally, we will connect these driving forces to fluxes that means, we will use thermodynamics to understand 
the kinetic principles or rate processes. So, basically uh, not only this course will describe all these theoretical aspects of thermodynamics and also this uh, theoretical aspects of uh, materials behavior uh, from the point of view of thermodynamics. We will also show you practice means we will basically show you very practical applications using open source software like PyCalFAD or OpenCalFAD or a student's edition of Thermocalc which is freely available for all uh, to explore phase equilibrium different materials systems. So, the syllabus is already put up. So, you can go through the syllabus and see what 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 are the things that will be taught in this course and we have I have also given some uh, reference texts uh, textbooks and references uh, which also you can go through and if you have any question or any problem then you can basically contact me uh, via email and I will be uh, ready to answer. So, thank you for uh, your attention and I hope that you will enjoy this course uh, uh, throughout this uh, uh, course that is going to be uh, given in this semester from uh, starting from uh, August uh, till November. Yeah. Thank you.